Hi, this is Marvel Money, and today I'll be going through Immediate Media Co's 37th issue of Levy Ninjago, Masters of Spinjitzu. This issue comes with a limited edition Nia minifigure, as well as either a Stone Soldier or Cole minifigure like I have in this magazine. On pages 2 and 3 we get the classic contents page, and as you can see, the garment on Danger meter has increased from last issue and is almost full. We then get the Ninja Times, again with four articles. The first, Are Our Heroes Doomed, which acts as a recap of last issue's comic. Rocker Wanted, which shows the bike chase from earlier in the season. Royal Eva Mastermind, a short piece telling us that the villain of the season, the quiet one, is Harumi. And the final article is The Return of Lord Garmadon, a piece giving us some information about Garmadon. We then get our first game of the issue, Perfect Camouflage where you have to spot the five Zanes hiding in the picture. You also get two bonus missions. The first is to find the five supervillains hiding in the picture, and the second is to spell a word with the blue letters from the previous page. This issue's comic starts with the ninja running from a series of jungle creatures, most importantly a giant crab. On the next page, we see the ninjas being trapped by a giant spider, which they defeat by using spinjitsu. We then get our next game, Spark the Fire where you can colour your, your own Kai however you would like. You can even give him your own catchphrase. On pages 10 and 11 we see the ninja scare off the giant spider and then use its web to capture the giant crab. At the end of page 11 we see someone shout out to the ninja. On the next page we see that the sons of Garmadon have caught up to the ninja and plan on using the crab for their own missions and evil deeds. On page 13 we get to catch Ultraviolet. This game is a fun maze that works by leading each ninja to the next hero until you get to Nia. You also get another challenge, which is to find 5 of Ultraviolet size. We then get pages 14 and 15 which give us some information about Cole and Nia. The two toys that come with the magazine, and underwater vision. Nia is the master of water, brilliant at planning attacks, building vehicles and is a true friend to her fellow ninja. For Cole, we get a ninja update telling us that he has turned back into a human and has gained new powers in doing so. The game is called Underwater Vision. All you have to do is identify the real ultraviolet due to the currents making multiple images, four of which are not real. In this magazine, you get a Spinjitsu training suit near, with a classic black and gold outfit that says Ninja on the back. This is the same design as the other Ninja's training suits and brings a real nice Team Unity feel to the Ninja. Her golden weapon also fits very well with the suit and works really well as a trident. I like the design because it goes well with the black and gold suit and again brings a team unity feel to the rest of the ninja due to them also having golden weapons with their costumes like this. I also like how each costume all uh, says ninja on the background with the dragon and I think the dragon looks really cool. And I also like the idea that it's, they've all got the Wu crew symbol on the chest. This magazine also comes with a coal minifigure. I think that the design of the minifigure is one from the Hands of Time season, as well as from Days of the Departed. Even though it is quite an old design, it's still a nice design, and is similar to Cole's other designs for his suits, except from the new ones, because they have the new masks and entirely new costumes. But as always, it's got his symbol on, and it's always got something on the back, um, just to show that the swords are being carried, which I, which I liked as a nice addition to the rest of the ninja. Another thing that I really like about the minifigure is the black sword and the black scabbard that comes with the minifigure. This is because I really like the idea of having black designs that go well with the minifigures, especially Cole because of his black suit. And it also goes with the theme of stealth, which all the ninjas try to uphold, especially in season 1 I think when they had their black suits. The thing I like most about this minifigure is the hammer that he comes with, just because it looks so cool compared to his other hammers and other hammers we've seen in LEGO. Things like um, Thor's hammer, Thor's Stormbreaker, hammers with anvils and kind of like other Iron Man kind of armour um, hammers that I use to make them. I also really like the design of this just with other weapons coming off and kind of spike feeling to the back but the round and large feeling to the front. I think it brings a really nice streamlined look to it. It's really nice design and I really like the gold pieces with the silver pieces just because it looks quite vivid and eye-catching. Also works really well because it's about the same size as uh, Cole's other hammers so he can hold it easily and he won't topple over and it just brings a really nice feel to Cole because it's almost like a scythe with the blade here 
and the hammer part here which is like his hammer now because he did used to have a scythe so i really do like this hammer and i would say if you have the option over the stone soldier or coal to go for the coal minifigure because it just has such a nice hammer as well as the black scabbard black sword and his hair and the still his ghostly look so i would go for this one on page 16 we get two games the first is where are the ninja which is a word search of the other five ninjas. The second game is The Path to Justice, in which your task is to guide the ninja to Ultraviolet and finally capture her. As always, we get two posters in this magazine. The first is one that features the ninjas and sons of Garmadon, and the second is a poster of Nia. Out of the two, I prefer the first one. This issue's competition awards the winner the Temple of Resurrection set and the Ninja Nightcrawler set, which are both really cool sets so I wouldn't miss the opportunity to get them. In this issue, we get an overview of the Sons of Garmadon's Headquarters set. This set comes with Ultraviolet, Snake Jaguar, Spinjitzu Lloyd and two minions, as well as a bike and a variety of traps and interactive aspects. On pages 24 and 25, we get the second part of the comic, in which we see the Sons of Garmadon attack the ninja with the leader of the gang, attempting to free the giant crab. On the next page we see the crab fight back and grab the gang leader. On the next page we see the crab fight back and grab the gang leader before he decides to shoot his bike sword at the creature and blind it. On page 27 we see the ninja taunt the gang leader into chasing them. On the final pages of the comic we see the ninja evade the attack from the gang leader causing Killer's chopper to crash and the gang leader to run away. Zane then comes up with the idea of using the chains and cables from the bikes to mount the crab and ride it back to Ninjago City. We then get Baby Woo alone in Ninjago City, which is a game in which you have to get Zane to Baby Woo by following Pixel's directions. We also get Spinjitzu Confusion, which is a game with many tasks, challenges and bonus missions. The first task is to spot the seven mistakes, which you can do by looking at the picture on the next page. The bonus missions are to find the three Oni masks and to find all of the spanners in the picture. On page 32, we get the correct picture for Spinjitzu Confusion, with a space to put your answers to the bonus missions. On page 33, we have one of my favourite parts of the magazine, Ninja Post, where you can send your best Ninjago drawings and pictures for a chance to win a prize. The prize for this issue is a Lego Ninjago movie, Lloyd Keylight. On the final page of the magazine, we get to see what's in the next issue, which will be on sale from the 13th of June, so don't miss your chance of getting this magazine. Next issue, we will get Buffer, a villain that comes with two swords and a shield, a limited edition Kai vs Mr E card, and a pack of Lego Ninjago trading cards. As always, the last page also features the answers to the puzzles in the magazine. On the back cover, we get some more ninja playing cards. In this magazine, we get Spinjitzu Zane, Kai and Jay. Oni, Mr E, Kilo and Ultraviolet. Scooter, Baby Woo and Luke Cunningham. That's the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, don't hesitate to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter for updates too. Thanks for watching, I've been Marvel Money.